We have right across the street on Granite Bay. Some of you folks were just up in Oroville. Lake Oroville, which is owned by the state of California. And just a stone's throw over there is Folsom Lake. We all know about California. It's water, baby. And Congressman McClintock should really understand the whole water issue because he used to represent Southern California. Yeah. Climate change could destroy California if we lose our snowpack, if the San Joaquin, uh, San Joaquin Delta is overcome by tidal surges because of rising sea levels. That's going to affect Southern California. And I know a lot of people, oh, I don't want to get into the, it's going to hurt, it's going to cost money. That's what it's all about. There is a greater potential risk for billions of dollars that we will have to spend defending against the impacts of climate change than if we just say, oh, let our grandkids take care of it. Because that's been the big, big issue with all of the Republicans. Oh, we don't want to give our grandkids, you know, this huge debt. We're giving our grandkids a catastrophe in the making of climate change. And please, Congressman McClintock, you know, we live here. Listen to the scientists. Look at the reservoirs. Talk to the, your neighbors down in Southern California. What happens if the state water project and the aqueduct go offline because the Sacramento Summer King Delta levees break and they have no fresh water? Then who's going to be mad? So that's why we're here. We all recognize the value of this. And where's our unicorn award? Oh, this is, this is pretty. This is wonderful. <laughs> we will give this to Congressman McClintock. There we go. As a, as a universal symbol that he's living a fantasy that climate change is not happening. And he needs to wake up, and everyone does, so we can start to get a handle on this. So our grandkids won't be living in a giant swamp in California, and we'll keep it the Golden State. Woohoo!